Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen with a summary of Calling All Devs, Mr. Steal Yo Data and a little bit of info on Star Citizen Alpha 3.3 as it has now gone out to the Evocati. So, Evocati 3.3 stuff. Star Citizen Alpha 3.3 has gone out to the Evocati. These are early NDA, non-disclosure agreement testers. They are busy testing various bits of the content coming with the live build. The build is under NDA for me, so I can't talk about or share specifics of the actual build, but um, it will be going out to first wave PTU release once it's been thoroughly tested and the major bugs have been hammered out. So typically with the ETF or EVCATI test flight patches, they get part of a build and testing focus is like on specific bugs and gameplay. Then they have more of the patch features sort of added daily. And it's not uncommon to have two builds in a single day to download and test. If you can't live without knowing the leaks and what might be in those patches, then I will link Nubifier's video down below. He's not an EVCATI member, so he can talk about any leaks or whatever that appear on Reddit. Um, from the patch, but take everything that you see leak-wise with a pinch of salt, as any leaks that you might read about might not actually be accurate or might not be in context with other info the Evocati may be privileged to or receive. So let's have a quick look at the Calling All Devs sort of summary. Lots of interesting information about mechanics for the future. Mining on foot, so they are looking into mining uh, by hand in FPS and on foot and other gameplay that might be associated with mining with the Prospector and the Orion and surveying and that sort of stuff, but done in first-person shootery on foot mode. Uh, they are currently working on mining rocks and asteroids with the Prospector, and then they're going to move on to the salvaging mechanics, but after that, they're going to look at mining again uh, and then tweak mining, um, update it, and potentially add some more features to it. So there is a couple of things they may add to mining on the FPS side, on foot side, aiding mining with items. So this could be um, putting on a device that lowers a rock's resistance or um, helps it mine faster when you're back in your prospector, but you have to EVA out of your ship to do that, to put the device on or to find a particular area, maybe put like a, a small charge uh, on the rock um, in a particular place so that it breaks apart more easily, stuff like that. They're also looking at actual FPS mining, so um, ways players might be able to collect and mine with tools on foot. Um, so you might be able to like pickaxe or laser out a little bit using a, a welding tool or something. This could take the form of deposits, having a small amount of a particular super rare resource that you'd get better yield from or only get yield from if you do some of the work by hand. Data hacking. So hacking may allow you to steal various info from ships like mapping and location data. This data will be transferable so other players can share it and use it. There will be protections from hacking too or at least ways to slow it down and counter it. The example they give for this actually is if a miner is out of his ship EVAing doing some work on a rock, a ship might stealth in and hack their ship while they are unaware stealing their mapping data and locations of some of their mineable asteroids that they've discovered. And then that data is sellable to other players, NPCs, put on the, like a public database, things like that. But it is tangible data. It is data that you can act upon. You go, ah, this gives me actual mapping information. The 350R, oh, so the 350 and 300 series rework, they're only slightly larger than they were um, previously. Um, so... The 350R, the racing variant, will still be the fastest, it looks like, racing ship in SCM and afterburner mode anyway. There is more room to fit components now with that rework. There's a bed still, places to put mission containers so that you can do those fetch quests and that sort of stuff. Uh, overall, it has not changed much from its original role. It's larger and less agile than dedicated racers, but is still the fastest, it seems. The Lynx Rover, so this is scheduled at the moment for mid-2019. This may change in the future, but there's no real other data about the Lynx Rover at the moment. Calling All Devs stuff, so in that Calling All Devs, Jared um, Disco Lando talks a little bit about how the questions are chosen. So the official CIG show, where a large amount of info comes from each week, is Calling All Devs, and it picks its questions that it poses to devs to get answers from, 
via a community thread. So questions go into this community thread from people like me or you or whatever, and then are upvoted by the rest of the community. And then they choose the highest voted questions to try and get answers for from appropriate devs. This means that sometimes Disco, who runs the show, will be pursuing a question for a while to try and get an appropriate answer for it. Sometimes there's not an answer for it yet. Sometimes there's not a dev free to give the um, best possible answer. So this will be people that know particularly more about particular design documents or that have a purview of a particular mechanic or whatever the question might be about. They won't ignore an upvoted question. It might just take a while to answer it. Sometimes calling all devs is an inappropriate medium for an answer as well. They might be saving something for a presentation or around the first or a mini feature ad or whatever. I still would say though, with those questions, make sure you check out the Calling All Devs thread. It's a new one every month. I will chuck it down below so you can see this month's one. Upvote questions that you like, pose questions that you like. Um, I think it's a great thing to do. Actually, conversely, a lot of the time, some of these questions have been answered previously. As uh, another reason that they might not get um, answered. They they have been answered previously in like a 10th of the Chairman or on an ATV or or somewhere else. So please bear that in mind as well. Have a search for information potentially before you um, pose a question or wonder why your question wasn't answered. With that in mind as well, to help me produce content for my stream and all that sort of stuff, tell me what questions you want answered about Star Citizen. Because what I want to start doing is poking um, sort of like devs myself trying to find answers for things that are like faq'd um so if, if you are if a lot of people ask a similar question i'll try and find an answer for it and i can build that into shows i can build that into uh, my news and that sort of stuff as well so if you've got questions about star citizen or want to know stuff tell me tell me down below in the comments Woo! Today's video is brought to you by F-Secure Total, premium cybersecurity for you and your devices. It includes safe and award-winning internet security suite, protecting you from ransomware viruses and while browsing the web. Freedom VPN giving you net privacy, a way to access otherwise inaccessible content, while being secure and anonymous even on public Wi-Fi. Key, a password manager, allowing you to store your passwords securely and access them from any device. Total protects you and your device. You can try F-Secure Total, Internet Security and Privacy Suite free for 30 days. You can also use the code BoardGamer to get 20% off a subscription. Check out the links below for more information. Every month we have a ship giveaway, this time for September. It's a Saber Raven, a game package, and a CitizenCon digital goodies pack. All you need to do to be in for a chance of winning is be subscribed to my YouTube channel and comment on any of my videos during the month. Thanks for watching, guys. I look forward to your comments. Take care, and I'll see you in the verse.